Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson, Changing Your Direction. I'm so excited that you have decided to tune into the broadcast today. You're going you're gonna to be delighted, not only delighted, you're going to be moved by the power of God. I want you to stay tuned because what's next is for you a mighty deliverance from the Word of God. Stay tuned. It's a divine appointment that you are watching this program right now. Healing, power, deliverance, and prophetic impartation are yours right now. Are you ready to receive it right now? It's time to move your life to the next level right now. I'm going to receive the Holy Ghost. I'm going to receive my healing. I want you to understand that we serve an awesome God. Do I have a witness in this house? But let me tell you, if you build up your praise and whenever you get in trouble, you already, you can make a withdrawal from the presence and the power of God. Right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church, our mission is simple, to bring you into the transforming presence of God. Each and every week, lives are being changed, families are being restored, and destiny is being fulfilled. And we want to invite you to be a part of all that God is doing through His church. Join us for a visit to one of our worship services so you can experience an environment full of God's power. When you do, we want to sow a special gift into your life. On this program, you only saw a small portion of the message preached by Pastor Hickson. When you visit with us, we will give you this entire message on your choice of CD or DVD absolutely free as our way of saying thank you for visiting. 
When you arrive, simply let the person that greets you know that you are a first-time visitor and give them the name of the message you see on your screen. So make your plans to visit with us right here at Full Deliverance Baptist Church. Our location, website, and service times are on the screen. You, your family, your future are important to God. He is alive. Don't let no devil whisper in your ear that he's not alive. He woke you up this morning. It wasn't your alarm clock. It wasn't the sun outside. The Holy, the Holy Ghost came in just, it's time. The Spirit of God walked into the room, went in from your room to your children's room, from the living room to the other room, and he woke everybody up. Oh. Hey, hey, he's alive. My God, he's alive. I don't know about you, he's alive. He's alive. God, he's alive. He's alive. Pick you up and turn you around. Yeah. Get you out of all kinds of mess, out of all kinds of trouble. Reach way down there and peel you up. Where you thought you were swallowed up, he just. Where you thought you never gonna make it, he just. Yes, well, you thought you never could do it. They say you didn't have the ability to do it, but he reached. He reached where man didn't want to reach. He reached where cousins didn't want to reach. He reached where relatives didn't want to reach. Your running dog didn't want to reach. But it's something about the name of Jesus. When you begin to call on the name of Jesus, yeah. everything is dead around you and tied up. But early on the morning, Weeping may endure for a night, but the joy of the Lord is coming in the morning. I'm talking to somebody having a morning experience when you didn't think he was going to make it. He reached. Reach. He reached. Through your pain, he reached. Through your hurt, he reached. Through your brokenness, he reached. Thank God. Oh, God is going to preach today. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Fragile. Handle it with care. I'm talking about Jesus. Jesus. He know how to handle you. Yeah. When your name is already in the street. Yes. Saying you wasn't no good. You're never going to mount up to anything. But my God will take the brokenness of you and begin to mend you back all over again. He'll take the broken heart. He'll take the broken mind. He begin to mend you all over again. I love about Jesus, fragile, handle with care. Handle me with care. Woo. Good God Almighty, on this Mother's Day, I'm talking to some women in here that you've been going through. You've been broken till it seems like there's no hope. But I want to let you know about Mary Magdalene. When she came pressing her way and when she met Jesus at the dinner table, she was already broken. She was already filled with seven different spirits. But that woman said, I don't care what the street said that I am. I know what it says that I am. But I'm going to a man that's sitting in the Pharisee's house, sitting at the dining room table. I may have been a harlot, but I want to let you know my mind is made up. Amen. I'm going to meet Jesus at his feet. When I meet him at his feet, I'm going to go in with a bar, an alabaster box with some anointing oil. I'm going to get at the feet of Jesus. I'm not going to get at the feet of my critics. I'm not going to get at the feet of one that already know about me. I know Jesus already know about me. But when I come down at that table, my mind is made up. Yeah. I'm already fragile. I've been broken over and over again. I'm talking to some women in here today. On this Mother's Day, you have been broken. But I want to let you know there's a man named Jesus. Jesus. There's a man named Jesus. Jesus. He said there's a man named Jesus. Jesus. Marriage baby. Yeah. Little boy sitting at the yeah. dining table. He's sitting there with the Pharisees. And he's sitting there with his disciples. And I'm going to go ahead and walk in. I know it's uncustomary for me not to just go ahead and invite myself. 
but I'm broken. I need to come to a place. Some of you are broken. You need to come to yourself. Come to a place. Come see a man that's not going to judge you from last night. Come see a man that's not going to judge you from yesterday mistakes. Come see a man that knows your heart. And the Pharisee told him and told Simon Peter, do you know if he was a prophet? If he was a prophet, do he realize what woman touching him? What I love about Jesus. I may be a filthy rat. I may be a wretch undone. But when my mind is made up and I'm tired of being broken, I'm tired of being let down. I need to come see a man. I need to come see a man that gonna heal my brokenness, gonna cast these demons out of me. I'm gonna go at his feet and I'm gonna let him know. I know I'm dirty and filthy, but my tears, my tears, some of you are saying tears. Relationship after relationship, man after man, woman after woman. It's time to come to Jesus. It's time to get a relationship where you ain't got to give up nothing but your heart. Give up nothing but your love. Won't let you down in the midnight hour. Help you pay the bills when you don't have nobody. Make a way out of no way. I want you to come see him. I want you to press your way. You're tired of being broken. Fragile, but handle with care. They sitting at the dining room table saying, if you only know, I know a history. I know where she come from. Some of you got some history that you're not proud of. But I know Jesus. I know Jesus. He'll come. Somebody say, the lily of the valley and the bride and born is child. Come see a man, the Samaritan woman. He met her at the well. And the Samaritans and the Jews don't get along. Jesus sent the disciples. Go in and buy me. Because Jesus know that this woman getting ready for a chain. I want you to know something. When you get ready for a chain, Jesus is going to meet you right there with all your hang-ups. Right there with all your problems. Right there with all your hurt. Come on to the cross. He... Come on to the cross. Come on. Come on to the cross. On. I don't care what they said about you, baby. I don't care what you did last night. Come on to the cross. Come on, come on. This woman got down on her knees and she stood behind Jesus. And when she stood behind him, the tears began to roll on his feet. And they was complaining at the table. Why is she? Why he's allowing her to touch him? And he simply replied and said, "She done something that you all did not do. It's customary. You didn't greet me with oil. You didn't clean the dust off my feet. But marry him. This woman here cried and washed my feet and dried my feet with her hair. When she dried my feet with her hair." She took out of an expensive box of olive oil, anointing oil, and, and put not only cleaned my feet, but she anointed my feet. And she have not stopped kissing my feet. Let me tell you something, baby. It's time now. It's time now. Fragile, handle with care. Some of you have been going through some things. Day after day and year after year, you're fragile. Nobody want to handle you with care. But the man named Jesus, the man named Jesus that died on Calvary said, no matter what you was yesterday, I'm getting ready because I already know your purpose from the foundation of the world. I'm glad you done come to yourself. Do I have some women in here want to come to themselves that want to come to themselves? You don't need Cleotas all the time. If Cleotas don't want to live right, that don't mean that you ain't got to live right. If Cleotas don't want to get it right, that means you gonna get it right. Baby, you can't touch this no longer. This property don't belong to you. It belongs to God himself. It belongs to the anointed one. Besides, if they have to have papers to own a pet bull, you don't think enough of me to get papers? You don't think
think enough of me to get a ring on this finger, but that dog that you got in your yard, you got to have papers on the dog in your yard, but you don't want no papers on me. You want to have access to the cow. Not only have access to the cow, you want to be able to drink the milk when you want. It's time. I'm talking fragile, but handle me with care. Because if you care enough about me, if you love me enough, you already, you willing to sleep with me, you willing to hang out with me, but you ain't willing to go to stand before the pastor and say, I do it. Fragile, but handle with care. Jesus was sitting at the table and the men began to make their remarks. But Jesus know how to handle her at the table. Jesus know how to fragile. She's possessed with seven spirits. But he said, this woman doing something that y'all did not do. Y'all didn't even greet me. It's customary to go ahead and greet me and anoint me with oil and clean my feet. You can say what you want to say about it. I've already know your fault. And when the Pharisee, if this is a prophet, he'll know what touching him. But fragile and handle her with care. Jesus know when she was standing behind him, where she had come from. He already know when he got to the city that she was going to come in at the dining room table. He already knew that he was going to meet Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene got a change in experience that night. She gave everything that she had. She said, Lord, here am I. I'm messed up and I'm a mess. I'm already broken. Relationship after relationship. One after another. And not only one after another, every time I touch them, they deposit their spirit in me. Now I need to get rid of that spirit out of me. Every time I got intimate with one, he deposit his spirit. But it's time now. I got to get delivered. I don't care what my name says on the street. I know a man named Jesus. I heard he was coming into town. You may know what I was yesterday, but baby, there is a new day. I'm a new woman. I'm a new woman that's saved by grace. I'm a new woman that is healed by the love of Jesus. I'm a new woman getting ready to walk with power. I'm a new woman getting ready to walk with authority. I'm a new woman not only found myself, I got confidence now. I got faith now in the word of God. It does not yet appear what I should be like. But when I do appear, I'm going to see him as he is. I'm going to be in the same arraignment. I once was, but now. Fragile. Handle with care. Handle with care. Handle with care. Church folk, you got to know how to handle God's property. You got to know how to love them anyhow. You got to know how to begin to embrace them. I have been some places where you've never been. But God have given you anointing. And God have given you authority to cast demons out. And they were the only one that asked Jesus, how can we do such things? Like he said, come by fasting and praying. Church, it's time to fast. It's time to pray. It's time to put the devil on the run. Instead of the devil having us on the run. It's time to walk with authority. It's time to walk in confidence. It's time to learn God's law. It's time to learn his commandments. It's time to walk in the power. It's time to walk in the joy. It's time to walk in the peace. It's time to operate in the spirit. Hey! Hey! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, Lord! Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Who should abide on the shadows of the Almighty? I'm talking about when you begin to give yourself over to God. God going to hide you in his secret place. God going to put you in his secret place. Moses said, God, I want to get to know who you are. And God told Moses, I got to put you in the clap of the rock. I'm going to put you in the clap of the rock. And when I go passing by, I'm going to cover you with my hand. I got, 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 God. See, you got to understand. 
when you give it up to God, he said, there's a secret place in me that I will hide you from your enemy. I will hide you from that reminder. I will hide you from the same thing. And I'm going to let you know, Moses, I'm going to let you see me, but I got to put you in the cleft of the rock. When I put you in the cleft of the rock, I got to put my hand and I'm going to hide you from my glory. No man can see me and live, but I want you to know the devil can't enter the glory of God. You got to say goodbye world, goodbye world, goodbye backsliding. Stop being so needy. You got to wake up with it. You got to go to bed. You got to wake up with it. You got to go to bed with him. Forget about John and say, John, I got a new man. You may get mad, but this new man does some things for me that you're not able to do. This new man, he'll hide me in a secret place. He'll hide me from my enemies. He'll hide me when the storm begin to blow. He'll hide me when the lightning begin to flash. He'll hide me when the water begin to rise. He'll hide me in his bosom. He'll hide me from yesterday hurt. He'll hide me from yesterday hurt, from yesterday pain. He'll hide me. You will go and make my 411 into 911. But Jesus, I there's a secret place that when I get on the inside and he walking with me and I'm walking with him and whenever the devil try to remind me of my past, he'll hide me in the secret place. He said, get on behind me. I want you to hold on to my waist. They try to come in from the left. They try to come in from the right. They try to come in on this side. They try to come in on that side. Somebody talking about your past. But God has hide me in a secret place. When that phone call comes, while I'm being disconnected, I'm hidden in a secret place. When that text come in, I'm hidden in a secret place. In the secret place of God. I'm no longer a friend with the world. In the secret place of God. I done surrender it all. I done came to the cross just as I was. I'm not waiting to get dressed up. I come just as I am. My God, my God, my God. My God. There is a secret place. Fragile, handle, with care. When you come on to Jesus, all the hurt and the pain all the struggles of yesterday. But one thing about it, I can hide in this secret place. I can hide in this secret place. You can hide in this secret place. In the secret place of God, there is wisdom. In the secret place of God, goodbye world. In the secret place of God, there's a refuge. Psalm 91. Who shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty? Get me on the cross. Get me behind the cross. I can stand here because he said it was finished. The devil can't come in the glory of God. The devil can't operate in the glory of God. If God had to take Moses and put him in the cleft of the rock, what do you think about when the enemy comes? When the enemy comes, God ain't got the enemy. He don't even have to send Gabriel down. Angel, go down there and fight on the behalf of my woman. Fight on the behalf of her. I want you to let them know that she got all power and the power she got to come through. I hope you have enjoyed the message this far. I want you to stay tuned because your breakthrough is waiting for you. You will enjoy the rest of this message. Tell him, forgive me. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me now, Lord. Forgive me now, Lord. He won't let me move around. Forgive me now. Forgive me now. Forgive me now. Forgive me now. Forgive me now, God. Forgive me now. Forgiveness bring you in the presence of who he is. Forgive me. Forgive me bring you in the presence. Forgive me now, Lord. Forgive me now, Lord. 
Forgive me now, Lord. Forgive me now. Forgive me now. Forgive me. Heal me, oh God. Forgive me. Tell him to forgive you. Tell him to forgive you. Tell him, ask him to forgive you. Lord, forgive me. I come. Ladies, repeat after me. Say, Father, you're all sovereign God. You sent your only begotten son so I can live and not die. I declare and decree today that I'm free in Jesus. I'm free. I'm free in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, heal my brokenness. Heal my brokenness. Heal me from yesterday hurt. Heal me from yesterday doubt. Yesterday fear. Give me strength, God. I'm not tired. Strengthen me now, God. For this day, this moment, and this time. I receive it now. I receive it now. The anointing going to move mightily in a minute here. I receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus, the power and the glory forever. I'm healed, I'm delivered, and I'm set free. I declare now, Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. I receive him now. I receive his love. I receive his forgiveness. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Turn and hug one another. Turn and hug one another. You're the first step of forgiveness. Strengthen now. Strengthen now. Strengthen now. To request a copy of today's broadcast, call us at 1 855 Now Faith. That's 1 855 669 3248. Or visit our website at changingyourdirection.org. Write to us at 101 South Redland Road, Florida City, Florida 33034. Full Deliverance Ministries, where little becomes much when you place it in the Master's hand, is changing your direction the victorious way. Hi, I'm Pastor Victor Hickson. We're out of time, but I want you to join us on social media and other media outlets. We're there for you. We're praying for you. I want to just encourage you to encourage someone else. Make this message a part of your library. God bless you. Thank you for your support and your prayers as we continue to reach a nation for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. See you next week at this time changing your direction.